Hi, my name is Robert Stein with The Cable Company. Thanks for coming. Um, we're here today to uh, educate ourselves and any of the viewers on some new products from Synergistic Research, the High Frequency Transducers, HFT, and the Frequency Equalizer, FEQ. Um, we've stripped our main listening room with uh, all of the various acoustic treatment products that we often will use uh, for our own testing purposes and also because the room is uh, such a uh, microscope for acoustic tuning and acoustic treatment products. So uh, you'll find it to be uh, a very live acoustic and I think it should be a pretty good venue for testing these products. Uh, let me introduce my crew from the cable company. Here's Joe Santamaria, John Farrow, Paul Jenkins, Ethan Wood, and this gentleman is Peter Hansen from Synergistic Research who's going to lead us through uh, the setup process on the products. Uh, the equipment we have here, if you're interested, it's uh, an Aon integrated amp, Aon CD player, um, reference 3A Grand Vena speakers. We've gone with a kind of a middle level of Synergistic Research tungsten element, uh, interconnects and speaker cables, power cords, line filter, symposium rack and uh, a very live room stripped of all its acoustic accoutrement. Before we get started, I'd like to play 30 seconds or so of the song so you can hear what the room sounds like with nothing in it. And then from there, we'll start introducing the HFTs from level one up to level four. And then the last thing we'll look up will be the FEQ. Just about that much. The placement of the first five is on the wall behind the speakers. You're putting one dead center of the wall. In this case, about half the distance up, so cutting the, the distance of the ceiling at four and a half. One out to each corner at the same level. We go up here. So that's our one, two, and three. And the fifth one goes about two to three feet up. That's a good starting point. So one, two, three, four, five, level one. And we'll play the same cut again.
very smile and soft Walking in the evening sunset So what that just proved was now we're starting to escape a sound stage behind speakers. That's what these low HFTs allows you to do. Um, the next level will be level two. You'll be putting one on each sidewall, roughly half the distance from the speakers to your listening position. You're going to put one down low, below the center one on the front wall, that's three. You put one on the back wall, probably about 80% up at the height of the back wall. And then you put one dead center in the ceiling. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then I'll play the same cut. One in the ceiling I can't do, so I need help here from the tall guy. Right there. And excellent, Ethan. Number two will be on the right hand side on the side wall. Half the distance between the speakers and the listening position. Number three goes on the other side wall. Number four goes down below the center one in the front, about two inches, three inches off the floor. And then the fifth one goes in the back, on the back wall, and that's level two. Then we play the same music again.
soft Walking in the evening sunset So, did we all hear what happened there? We keep extending the size of the room, so to speak, acoustically. So, that was level three. Um, we also have level four, which we recommend, which require two five packs of HFTs, and that's when we start putting them on the speakers. These speakers do not have a port. Let's just say it was a front port of speaker. The number one of the four you put on will be down low where the, where the um, port would be, but if the port is up high, you put it close to the port. Again, if it's a rear port of speaker, it will be close to the port on the back wall. Then one goes in on each side, and those are the four. So, I will start putting those on to complete level four. The first one I will put will be right in between these two woofers, which will be very similar to what if it was a quarter speaker. One on the one side. Does it seem to work well on the sides to have it at the level of the mid range? Yeah, I tried it before we got started here, and this is where I found them working the best. Uh, since it's a, you know, on the back, the same over here, one between the woofers, one on the side, the side here, and then one on the back. That completes level four. And we'll play again. Turn the FBQ on. 
And then I'll start this from the top. Now it's turned on, and we have level four of HFTs in place though. you can do 
over a weekend and prove to yourself that this product makes a profound difference. In a room that you know, it is easily discernible what it's doing and it's extremely positive. Thanks, Ethan.